Hey guys, welcome to chapter number 8 of the Solarius tutorial. Um, we are um, continue the topic about teletransporters. I can remove what we did in chapter 7. So in chapter 7 I presented um, two, two types, two kinds of teletransporters. The one that move the hero to a um, destination entity and the one that scrolls the hero between two adjacent maps and today we are going to use some other kinds of teletransportation that move the hero between um, two different floors of the same cave or the same dungeon so first, an, we, uh, uh, we make an outside maps for this example. And cave, first floor. And finally, cave, second floor. Okay, outside map, light world. Overworld. So um, let's do. Oh, I need the outside store too. Uh, no, outside store. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. I am making a bigger cliff than last time because there will be two entrances. The first entrance here with a, a default destination where the game starts initially. And let's do another entrance here with um, this these tiles right here to make a balcony um, like that. So it's a bit complex, a bit complicated to make the balcony. So I suggest to make it only once and then um, store it in the outside store. So you have to take um, this tile and to make it uh, overlap this this one like this and put it in the back so bring to back of the the B key bring to back I mean this one should be uh, behind this one <laughs> then what um, then This one like this? No. <laughs> it's too complicated. Even for me. Like this. Like this. And like this. Um okay. So, no, it was okay, I just forgot this one. And the, her the hero will be able to jump like that. So, for the second entrance, I take the one with the dirt floor. Okay. And then finish the borders. Is it okay like that? Yes. I think so. This one behind and this behind and this... no. <laughs> yes, it's like this. Okay. Same thing here. And finally, 
the dirt soil should be a bit higher like that. Okay. So since it's very difficult to make copy paste uh, let's copy paste it in the outside store to have it available for next for other maps. So um this is the entrance from the first floor from cave first floor and another one here from second floor then uh, okay let's do our caves so it's it's a cave with with two maps and of course two floors um you can check the the floor property it's an optional property um zero means the first floor and one the second floor but actually the engine does not do anything special with this value it's just for you in your scripts you can call map get floor and do whatever you want with that for for example show minimap or something um okay cave and cave also for the music I'm gonna need the standard room with the cave floor, it's better. This one. Um, first floor, first floor, okay. For the first floor, I will use the nice dungeon entrance. Okay. And as usual, don't forget that. Destination here to the north, teletransporter here um, to outside from cave first floor. Okay, um, and I forgot that. <coughs> okay, good. And for the second floor, I actually want to make two rooms. So, 640 by 240. Dice cave, music cave, two rooms. So, right click, you, you can paste and then do a right click. Um, to get another copy of the of whatever was was just pasted. Um, and the entrance, the exit of the of the room, will be something um, more simple, um, like this. A smaller, a smaller um, door. Okay. For example, mm, this is good. Destination. F um, okay. Destination f um, from outside. <coughs> it needs a name because uh, we we are gonna make other destinations here. And the teletransporter goes to outside from second floor. Okay. So maybe I forgot to give a name to this one from outside. Okay, if this is good, mm, we need a door to connect both rooms. So, um, this part like this, this part like this, no, like this, and then uh, make a path right here and 
block the hero, block the player from mm, going uh, here or here. As always. Maybe I can already try that. Um, no. I forgot to make the teletransporters here. Destination second floor from outside. And destination first floor from outside. Good. So okay, so far you didn't learn them. Oh, <laughs> I forgot um, to update my game manager script. This is chapter eight, and this is and the map is called outside. So I'm starting here because um, there are three destinations, but this one is... Oh, <laughs> I forgot to check the default destination. So it could have been uh, any of the three. Check default destination to be sure it will be this one. Otherwise it's the one that is above the others. Um, below the others, more exactly. <laughs> So, um, new type of teletransportation, the stairs. Let's make some stairs to go to the second floor. So it works like a door with these tiles. For now I'm just making uh, tiles, okay? So it's only the drawing. There will be no nothing special. I mean, there is no, nothing special if you simply do that. This is just a static tile. This is not an event. Uh, this is not a dynamic entity. Yes, I want to save here. <laughs> it will be faster. Okay, so uh, it's just tiles for now. This tile is on the high layer. You see, and the other on the intermediate layer. Okay. Um, so, as always, mm, by the way, uh, I can copy these stairs to here, but this one will be stairs. Um, that go downstairs like that. Okay. So, uh, like always, a destination, and you call it from second floor. A teletransporter, but we haven't made the destination yet. So let's do this from first floor. transporter to the first floor from... Okay, I forgot... I must have forgotten to save the map. Actually, I, I did... I pressed Ctrl S, but... I don't know, there was, there was a glitch. It doesn't always work. In the next version, in 1.4, um, there will be a brand new quest editor. I'm re rewriting the, the whole quest editor in C++ and it will be much better. <laughs> I'm working on this. Uh, um, I have been working on this for a few months now and this is why the, this chapter um, this is why it took so long time without new tutorials in English. So uh, I'm sorry but uh, <laughs> the new quest editor will be great when it is finished. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, from first floor. What? No, we are on the second floor. Why, why is this called from... No, from second floor. Okay, I picked the wrong map. Cave first floor from second floor. So maybe there was no saving glitch after all. <laughs> and this one, second floor from first floor. Okay. <coughs> so, 
So, um, it works, but there is still nothing special, okay? These are just static, static ties. And now, if you want the... Oops! If you play The Link to the Past, you know that there is this nice stairs animation where the hero makes tick 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 tick. <laughs> um, this is supported by the engine. This is implemented uh, by the engine with this entity that's called stairs. Um, you have to say if, if it's a spiral staircase that goes upstairs or downstairs or a straight staircase. And this one is um, for the platform stairs, but that, that do not change maps, okay? You would use them to do uh, this kind of stairs to go to a, a platform. So in our case, spiral and upstairs, okay. So um, pick your stairs entity and put it uh, at the same place as your teletransporter, also at the same place as your stair style, and also at the same place as your destination actually, because when the hero takes some stairs on the other floor, um, he arrives, we want he, the hero to arrive in the staircase and not right here, okay? So you put the three, three entities all on the same tile, on the stair style. Very easy to remember. Okay, so now it feels just like A Link to the Past, except <coughs> on the second floor where we haven't made the modification yet. <coughs> Sorry. So downstairs this time. And the direction is not um, upstairs, it doesn't mean upstairs or downstairs. It, mean, um, it means north or south of the room. Okay, so um, intermediate layer, like this. And now we should have like a real A Link to the Past staircase. Great. Okay, I want to save. Um, about saving the game... About saving the game... Um, when you start your save game, the rule is that it starts um, at the last destination used... Um, the last time the world property has changed. So we never, u never used the world property uh, so far. When you leave it blank, it means that your map uh, it has its own world. So if you want to make a group of maps that have the same uh, save game uh, save game area, you just have to set the world property to some names that is to some common name between these maps. So um, let's call this chapter 8 cave. You can call this, I don't know, dungeon 4 or something. And if two maps have the same uh, the same world, this means that if you save if you change the map, go to another m to another map, but stay in the same world, and save again, the game won't start from the stairs here, but it will start from uh, the entrance. S so the rule is that the save game always starts um, the, uh, at the last change of world. which is uh, what you want usually when you make dungeons. Dungeons with, with several maps and several floors. Okay.
Um, let's now see the last kind of teletransportation that I, I wanted to show. The holes. Mm, okay, let's make a hole like this, or maybe like this. <coughs> And with these graphics here and this. These are these are our standard graphic uh, standard graphics of holes from a link to the past again. And as always everything is common between the dungeon tile sets, so you can do this as a dungeon. <laughs> it's much nicer by the way. <laughs> Yeah, let's make a dungeon. Let's make it a dungeon. Why not? With this music. Okay. So, um, we just made a, a hole. A big hole, by the way. And our big hole just hurts the hero as we see in, in the in a previous chapter mm, this one this should be bring to front okay if you want the um, hole to teleport teleport the hero instead just put a teletransporter on the hole and you can resize it any teletransporter can be resized but this is especially useful for holes. Resize it to cover the hole and then uh, configure your teletransporter to go to, of course, the map uh, of the floor below this one and destination points, you can choose same point, which means keep the coordinates, uh, which means keeping the coordinates of the hero unchanged. So let's try that. Oops. Oops. And if you think that, if you guessed that we will have a problem, then congratulations. We don't see the hero. Why? Um, because this map is smaller than the other one, so when you fall here, the hero would land here. He actually lands here at an in at invalid coordinates. Maybe there is an error message. Hmm, good question. No, there is not. But um, of course, that's not what what you want to do. So um, you have to configure your maps either to have the same size, maybe, or if you really want it to keep it that way that's possible you just have to say to say that the relative location of this one of the upper left corner of this map is um 320 pixels in our case uh notice that coordinates of your mouse the coordinates of your mouse mouse are indicated here so the other map starts here 320 okay <laughs> so like that and you see if you say that and the other one of course does not change because the, the, the reference point um, is this point is the upper left corner of the bigger map then it, it should work And it doesn't work. Hmm. Did I save the map? This is correct. Same point. I just did it in the French version of the tutorial, so <laughs> I'm very sure that it works.
Okay, maybe I just forgot to save. So we have to be very careful with um, teletransporters that go to the same point because, for example, if I fall here, I'm pretty sure that, okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck because this tile doesn't exist on the above map. So maybe we should resize like that. Uh, like that, yes, very good. That's much better. Um, okay, and uh, last detail, I think. I think this is not the correct stairs uh, tile. It this one, but maybe it doesn't exist for for the, um, the in the cave tile set. So in the cave tile set, um, okay. The actually it's the same. So I picked the wrong the wrong one. And do should restore the. Oh, did I move something? Or create a tile. And do restores, restores the dungeon tile set. Okay. Um, that's all for this video. I hope uh, you enjoyed it and learned <laughs> some things and I will see you in the next tutorial, bye bye!